Hi everybody. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I really do like the Coleco Atom as my retro computer of choice. But that doesn't mean I'm stuck with just the Coleco Atom. My first computer I ever owned was a Timex Sinclair 1000, which is just the American version of the ZX81. So I was thinking to myself, I'm working on an emulator for the Coleco Atom that so that it would emulate the Timex Sinclair 1000. And I was thinking to myself, I should have like a little sub channel just for this Timex Sinclair 1000 on my channel. Now as I'm laying in bed last night, because I do random thinking in my head when I'm going to, when I'm laying down trying to get to sleep. I was thinking to myself, you know, you could make a very large scale copy of the keyboard on the ZX81 and the Timex Sinclair 1000 just using shipping labels and printing on them. So when I came in today, I got some black foam board I had sitting here in the office and I printed up a couple of them as you can see on the wall. So now as I'm sitting here and I'm getting things set up and struggling with the tape deck to get the volume set just right so I can save and load things, I'm thinking to myself, what am I going to call this sub channel? Millie likes the Timex Clear 1000 sub channel? I don't think that works. And I realize I'm staring at it. This sub channel is going to be called Ed and Then. Why? Why not? So to start out the sub channel, I'm going to do the Hello World. That's what everybody does when they write code for the first time on the computer. So I'm going to do Hello World on this little computer. I have to uh, level this a little. It wobbles. I'm not sure if it's the little rubber feet on the bottom of the Timex Sinclair or if it's the table itself. So what I've done is I wrote a little program that says print hello world 20 go back to 10 and just run it. We all know what it's going to do. No, there is no surprise as to what it does. Let's clear the screen. Now I'm going to save it to tape and I was struggling. This is the fourth video I've made so far and each time I think I got it right and I go to record, it doesn't work. I've had to play with the volumes, play with the volumes, find the exact right volume. I got it now, I do believe. So, I'm going to save this to tape. I, you know, I was typing save hello for the longest time and now I just got tired of doing that. Now it's just save.p. We'll start recording this just to get past the leader. Just to make sure, yes, I do have it rewound all the way back. Now I hit enter and it's going to save it over to the tape deck. The capture doesn't always capture the screen when it flickers like this. So as you saw, it just went black. I think the capture card just can't find anything to lock onto. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase it so it's not in memory. So we can see list, there's nothing there. And I'm going to load that program back in just to say that we did it. Hit play and pause there, hit the load and hit enter. Now hit pause again to start it playing. And cross our fingers, it's going to load it this time. It's picking up the leader. Please, 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 please work, please work, please work. There's some data. Come on baby, you can do this, work. We got something there, do we have a program or do we just got an empty screen? Empty screen, again. <sighs> I'm going to try this one more time and I'm going to take my phone which is sitting right here, turn the brightness on, I'm just going to look at this volume. I can't believe how picky and finicky this thing is. I'm going to give this one more shot. If this don't work, I'm going to say that this video is a finished video. So load, Now I'm not going to permanently use this. I am going to use a an Android as my playback device so I can load software into this. But for the first one I want to at least use the tape deck once. Hopefully. Are we going to load? Are we going to load? Are we going to load? <gasps> Yay! We did it! Let's run it! Hello world again! It succeeded! So anyways this is the first computer I owned. I bought this with my own money. Well, my own found money. I was 15 years old. Me and my mother were walking through the San Diego Zoo. 
and I'm just kicking rocks and stuff because I really don't want to be at the zoo. We're going to be leaving San Diego, heading back to New York in two days. I didn't want to leave all my friends and stuff, but we were moving. So we'll walk, I'm walking through the zoo and I'm kicking rocks on the ground and I kick something. My mother says, pick it up. What is that? I picked it up. It was a piece of brown paper and inside that piece of brown paper was five $100 bills. Just folded up neatly. And I said, well, who do we give this to? Do we turn it in? My mother looked at it and says, I don't know who we would give it to. There's no idea whose this is. And then she said, and if we turned it in, odds are they're going to put it in their pocket. So, Millie, well, she called me Bill by my real name. Billy, you got some free money. So I split it with her. I gave her 250 I kept the 250 And I went to Kmart and I bought me, this isn't my original one, but I went and I bought me the Timex Sinclair 1000. I bought the memory pack and I bought a tape deck. And I had me a complete system, almost. I didn't have a TV. And for the next six months, I had to beg, can I use a TV? Can I use a TV? Can I use a TV? It was so hard. Nobody wanted to get, cause this, this was, this is what? 82, 83, 82 probably. Not everybody had a TV in every room. You had one TV in the living room. If you were lucky, you had two. We had one TV in the living room and nobody in the house wanted to let me sit down and write code and watch it. They wanted to watch happy days or Mork and Mindy or general hospital or all the other shows. So I really couldn't get really into the computer because I had no TV. But I really did like this computer. And I'm going to put some more videos out. Thank you for watching.